Hello everyone and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Um, so today uh, we're going to be doing the usual stuff, just wandering around my island, um, trying to relax, trying to have fun, and um, you know, just doing whatever strikes our fancy. So I was planning on actually starting earlier, um, but uh, I got preoccupied. I was too busy watching Campaign 2 of Critical Role for the first time. I'm only on episode 13, so no spoilers. Don't spoil anything for me. I can talk the first campaign if you want, but I just started the second campaign. I'm only on episode 13, so no spoilers, okay? All right. Let's see what's going on on Titan today. You're like on my underbite. Hello, 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 it's 10.02 p.m. on Friday, April 26, 2022. That reminds me, Celeste is here to enjoy some stargazing. The stars have always inspired lots of wonderful stories. I just love dreaming about them. Celeste knows more about stars and their stories than anyone I've met. Why not ask her to tell you a tale? And with that, we'll get back to work supporting you and are in your enjoyment of our island. Thank you, Isabel. You're such a sweetie pie. <sighs> All right. Oh. Hello? Oh, it's Timmy and Tommy. Hello, this is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. You sent a payment to your account for 16,000, you know, for what you left in the drop-off box. Thank you for using the service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. Thank you, boys. Let's see we got the mail. Cool. Thank you, Marshy Marsh. Open it up. Oh, cool. Alright. Give me one second. I need to go get some water. As I ate right before this. I didn't drink enough liquid. So now my throat is a dry. some water to wet my whistle I got some I got some water to wet my whistle god what's the name of that guy I'm trying to remember his name that western sounding dude from uh, all those old Disney movies and uh, the Back to the Future the third movie 
the guy that talks like this. Hi, Uni. Hi, Dusk. Chip. This weather is just perfect for a stroll around the island, isn't it? She looks so cute in that dress I gave her. She's like punk rock, but like cute punk rock, you know? when you mix cute and punk and punk style together like boots with spikes on them but the boots are pink hell yeah that's just badass hydration is important <sighs> If only this lovely day could go on and on, dearie. Let's go say hi to Sherby. Sherby! Sherby! Where are you, baby? Oh! He's working again. Hi, Sherby. Watch your stuff, okay? Making me a wood simple bed. Oh, goodness gracious, excuse me. Oh, whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. So I it before I forget what it even is. What? You want to make a wood simple bed? That's really cool. on top of things, and I'm usually stuck under them. Wood simple bed, so I scribbled it down the recipe. If you know anybody that wants to make it, can you hand them this note? I apologize for the cookie grease I smeared on the middle part. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Doing Sherb's voice makes me so tired. It'd be great if a bunch of people made a simple wood bed. I guess that's kind of the point, though, because this character is kind of laid back, so... Being kind of, you know, sleepy and stuff makes sense for him. Me, talk to me, talk to me, Apollo. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I knew you were coming out of whooped up a few snacks. Mm -hmm. oh, this is what the kids call a man cave, right? That's, that's all you have to say, Apollo? You're just gonna passive aggressive and then tell me to leave. Let's see how it is. I do the same thing. That's why I have no friends. Training. Uh, 
I love doing Dom's voice, but I probably couldn't do it for very long because if I do it, did it for an extended period of time, I'd probably hurt myself. a recipe for an astronomical project in a book and jotted it down. I would like you to have it. Do let me know if you try building it, would you? Well, have a splendid rest of the night. I know I shall. I don't know why I gave Celeste a western accent. Because her brother, I gave her brother a British accent. I don't know. Maybe they're adopted siblings. Who knows? <laughs> I still can't believe I missed Festival. I'm so upset with myself. I bet the whole day, like, my villagers were, like, knocking on my door, like, Jerry, are you gonna come out and do festival? And my character was just asleep the whole day. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, from the perspective of my villagers, my character lives a very strange life. He wakes up at 10 o'clock at night, walks around the island, talks to everybody, deposits his money in the bank, cleans up the island, and then goes back to sleep. <laughs> Get some coffee, sorry. I forgot that part. So he wakes up, he talks to everybody, deposits his money from the previous day in the bank, gets um, some coffee, cleans up the island, and then goes back to sleep. That's it. That is the life of Jerry Jr. A very strange little man. better now? Awesome. You ready to keep on cleaning? Cool. Then let's go. I will not be answering any questions as to why I just had a full conversation with my in-game character. to ask me questions about that, you can send your questions to the P.O. Box of Nanya. Nanya Business. Part to clean. 
I keep on having to tilt down with check. Ketchup and Yoni talking about. Want to try this magazine, please, asshole? Ahem, where do you see yourself in a few years, Chip? Duh, like that's some big mystery. I'm totes going big time. The kind of pop star who's everywhere you look. Oh, I'd be so happy for you. And I could tell folks I knew you when. Wait, would you still talk to me even when you're world famous pop star? Well, uh, that might not be up to me, you know? I'll be out there living that life. It might get crazy. But don't worry. I know I could never forget you, Yoni. Aw, ketchup. What if you just try getting famous here on our island? That way, you might have more time for friends. Excuse you, Yoni. I'm already super famous on this island, as if you didn't know that. And my being popular and stuff never kept me from hanging out with you, Betty. Aww, that's so sweet! Hey, Marsh. What's up? Aww, this is when I finally start to feel awake. The night is young, maestro. I see over here. Oh, this is... oh yeah. Oh, she now. Oh, hey, Raymond's here. Thanks for coming over. Another one of my friends is here. That's so cool. Oh, wow, totally make yourself a home. It's so cool to have both of you here at the same time. Hey, how did you get in here? Are you on the guest list? Just kidding, I know you and Chino are tight. Whoa, fancy meeting you here at Chino's place. Glad to see we're both on the VIP list, Dusk. Hi, guys. I don't want to bother them. They're on a date. I, know, I feel like I'm disturbing them, you know? Okay, let's go check out and see what Stitches is up to. Probably eating. Or sleeping. Oh. Not what I expected. Oh. It's nice of you to visit, Betty. I just love having my very own wood chest. Now when I spill good soda on my clothes, I can just stuff them in there forever, Betty. Oh, Stitches. I love you too much to ever hate you, buddy. Even if your lifestyle is gross. If he wants to wear dirty clothes, then go ahead, I guess, but, you know. <laughs> Hi, Blathers. Good evening, Dusk. 
Welcome to the Titan Museum. May I be of service? Assess, please. Ooh, what would you like me to assess? I'm all a flutter. Ah, uh, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Ooh, Let's take a closer look, shall we? Yes, indeed. Quite splendid. Alas, our museum has already had fossils such as these. I have been tempted to purchase these from my personal collection. But no, I must exercise restraint and return them to you now. Oh, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate the viewership. Might I help you with anything else? Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. It's time to go say hi to Brewster. Chino. I just saw you at your house. Did you just leave Raymond in your house alone? How did you... Never mind. Time to talk to Brewster. I was hoping I'd see you today. Care for some coffee? It's 200 bells a cup. Sure. I brought this cup especially for you. Drink up. Cool. Hmm, that's the stuff. I knew I could count on Brewster to create the perfect blend. Cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> I always feel like I'm doing ASMR when I do Brewster's voice. I'm looking to do a stress-free night tonight. Like, sick up some relaxing vibes and gossip about what whatevs. Hello there. Uh, bit of a coincidence, eh? You must come here often. It's good to see you too, Kex. I don't know how you got all the way over from Parv's Island to here, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so have you played Animal Crossing before, or...? You just watch, like watching other, somebody else play it? Which, hey, I get it. There's a bunch of games that I've experienced vicariously through other people. Either it's a game that I was only mildly interested in, and I didn't want to buy it myself, or it's a game I've never heard of, so I didn't want to risk buying something I might not like. Alright. So I talked to all my villagers, uh, clean the island, get coffee, assess the fossils, and I think that's it. I guess I could wander around a little bit more, but... Hello! Uh, welcome to Nick's Cranny. Oh, hey, a ring light! I need one of these in real life. <laughs> Seems like you're interested in ring light. Let's see. That's 16,000 bells. What do you think? Yeah, I... <laughs> that's about right for an actual ring light, too, honestly. Jesus. Like, the really good ones. Excellent purchase, purchase. Yes, thank you for the 16,000 bells. Yes, yes, of course, of course. What do you need? Of course, what exactly are you offering? Offering. Uh, this and this and this. And this and this. And this and this and this. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. 
And done! I can buy these from you for a total of 19,390 bells. Sound good? Sold. You got yourself a deal. Thank you for your business. I'll go ahead and put any excess bells into the bags in your pocket. Thanks, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Daily stuff, and I don't really need to do anything else. So, I am really, I wasn't really planning on making the stream very long. That's why I, I don't have endings for the streams anymore, or end times for them anymore. Because, you know, the fact that my schedule is changing so much means that I can't set hard times for where it can end anymore. I can just, I have to stream as long as I can. And then stop when I have to. Okay. Check my phone. Put away everything. Okay. I think that's it. So, yeah. Uh, it's a short stream, but... That I wasn't planning on going for very long either way. Um, so if you're watching, and if you're still watching, thank you so much for doing so. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to check out my older streams, they're all on my YouTube page at youtube.com slash TV. Uh, if you'd like to check out my Patreon, it's only $5 a month, and you'd really be helping me out. Um, if you'd like to check out my social medias, they're all on the About page on my Twitch channel. Um, and I'm trying to reach 50 followers before um, May 25th, so if you want to follow or subscribe to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. It would really help me out. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I love you. I miss you already, and hopefully I will see you again very, very soon. Good night, guys. <laughs>